Good afternoon, FS Global Bad Channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News, the number one place to get all your FS news in just one video for the day. Well, time to catch up on all that news. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy your weekend. Next weekend is the big Memorial Day weekend. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys got planned for this Memorial Day weekend. Anyways, the news for today. We'll be talking about a new crop added to Stone Valley or the next mod project for Alien Gym. Now, in new mods was a little strange. We actually got a decent amount for a Monday. We got a huge John Deere 9RT plus Legacy AG's Pro Seed Box finally came out. Now remember, if you're watching this as a premiere or after the premiere to smash that like button. Let's try for 100 likes on that premiere. Now for the video in total, let's try for 250 likes. Well, talked enough. Let's get to that news. Roll that intro. Welcome back. Hopefully you guys did enjoy your weekend. Anyways, though, we have a lot of news to catch up on. The first piece of news for today, for this Monday on May 23rd, is from 4D Modding. An old style trailer for FS22 is almost ready for a release on PC. It will also be uploaded to Giants on the mod up. So hopefully we do see that very soon. Okay, then after that one, we have some news from Hungry Cow Design. Actually, this is more of a comparison. Of course, he's been working on his Sugar Creek Farms, which is located in Indiana. But as you see right here, he did actually a comparison because he's been working on this since FS19. And the comparison, the top one, of course, is from Farming Similar 19, and the bottom one is from FS22. And the big thing that sticks out to me on this is, of course, that water looks so much better. And then, of course, those crop textures on that. Let me know what you guys think about it. Then, next up that one, we have two pieces of news actually from Hispano Mods. The first one is the FlexQuill ST820 is already in the mod up waiting for tests. He hopes it will pass very soon. The price for that is $186,000. Working width is 24 meters. Working speed, 18 kilometers per hour. Necessary power is going to be a little bit up there. It's at 500. Uh, selection and main color and rims on that. And then the second piece of news is about a new truck he is making, the Kenworth T2000. Uh, he had to say about it though, if I remember correctly, the last time I published it, it was in FS15. It will surely be a Lizard brand or something invented for the issue of the console licenses. So this truck right here will be coming to consoles, but of course it will be probably a Lizard truck from Hispano Mods. So that right there is everything from Hispano. Then next on the list after that one, we have some news from Alien Jim. He's been actually pretty busy lately, mainly with his new map that just came out. But anyways, he had this to say, he's currently working on animal pens from Mercury Farms. After they are done, he'll be working on making the abandoned buildings usable on Western Wilds. This should not need a new save game. As for Mercury Farms, Sussex Farms, or Spetsco Island, it is unknown at this time if and when he will convert them over to FS22. Keep your fingers crossed on those maps. Those maps are amazing, especially Spectacles, because remember, we ran the FSC Olympics on that. And then after that one, we have something from Agrotono. Probably the most asked question I get nowadays is always, when is the Lizard F350 going to be coming out? Remember, guys, I do not know when it's going to be coming out. But anyways, he had this to say, now all you need to do is adjust a few things and change the sound on that. But this is getting closer and closer to release, so just got to be very patient. And then probably the second most asked question is about custom modding. And this is about his 4940. Is he going to be coming out to Farming Simulator 22? Well, guess what? It is. And he has already submitted it into the mod up. Right now, they have five mods awaiting review on the mod up to be released. Uh, the 8R, the Vario 1000, the CA50, CA50, sorry, 1870, the Case 2150, and now the 4940. So we can see these very soon, at least by the end of this month or to the beginning of June. And also, soon he will be adding the honeybee to that list. Then, if you did not catch last night's live stream, which I don't know what you guys were doing, but anyways, Lancy Boy has updated Stone Valley. Announcement. He was getting asked a lot if he was adding Alfalfa to Stone Valley 22, and guess what? He has delivered on his promise to the Farming Simulator community. Alfalfa is now working on Stone Valley 22. It will be available for all platforms, and yes, you can bail it. Right now at this time, I did talk to him a little bit last night. Right now, you cannot feed animals with it. He is trying to fix it, but he don't know if he can get around to it. I know everybody cannot wait for this map. Just be patient. Should be out very, very soon. Okay, now into that last piece of news for today, and this is from the SMI modding team. Who remembers their Fiat X70 series? It is now coming to FS22 with several improvements over the previous version. 
The horsepower and configurations have remained the same. 110 horsepower max with the open pipe configuration or the classic 70 horsepower with the standard configuration. It will also have various tire configurations and improvements are now done to the Fiat X70. Soon it will be sent to the mod up testing and will be made available for PC and consoles. So definitely excited about that. Okay guys, so that is all the news for today. Let's head it over and take a look at those new mods we got. Walking to the new mod showcase for today. Today, for a Monday, not too bad actually. We got a total of 28 new mods and updates. For all platforms, we got two new maps. Now in new mods for all platforms, we got 17 new mods. And in updates, we got four. For the PC only ones, we got five new mods. Let's get to those mods. Welcome to the all platform mods for today. The first two are of course the new maps we got for today. The first one we have is the European countryside from Zero Oto. It is 256.17 megabytes. Description on it says, a very beautiful place among the mountains in the southeast of France. What is included on this one? A city, production chains, vehicle store, animal dealer, BGA, sawmill, 60 viable areas, 48 fields, Collectibles with different values depending on how difficult they are to be found and all standard functions on that. So here is your main farm right here. And oops, sorry. This is what the PDA looks like. So pretty decent sized fields. And of course, we have the big old town in the south. I mean, sorry. Yeah, the big old town in the south of the map. And looks like a lot of production change carpentry. Uh, let's see. We got dairy over there, spinnery, oil mill, cereal factory. All that good stuff right there. So that is the first map for today. The second map we have is Bromback, and this is from the Lort. This is 47.12 megabytes, so this is very small uh, file size. Let's see, this is a small real place in beautiful middle Franconia. Let's see, it has court, animal stables with animals, BGA, eight productions, five selling stations, 22 fields, 38 viable spaces, a sawmill, large forest area, shop, Fields can also be painted in the landscape tool and all standard functions are included. This does require the Bavarian farm pack mod. Okay, so if we go over here, here is actually the map. And these are some really big fields right over here. Uh, let's see, productions, we have the bakery on here. We have dairy, cereal factory, let's see, grain mill, sugar mill, great processing unit, and spinnery. So there is both of the maps for today. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are planning on playing on any of these maps. Okay, so here we go with the first regular mods for today. The first one we have is the Kermak Tree Waste Rake, and this is from the North Modding Company. What this is, is to, of course, remove trees from the road. Let's see, 300 kilograms, it is 1.9 working meters, $800. Uh, you can change the main color to any color you want, so let's just start this off right. You can change it to Sam's Pink if you would like to. Okay, then the next new mod on the list we have is the IBC and Pallet Stack. This is from A-Dub right here. We have a liquid fertilizer right here, which is 2,000 liters. Uh, we have herbicide, 2,000 liters. We have Poplar, Sugar Cane. We have Bond Silage Additives, Mineral Feed, Seeds, uh, the Solid Fertilizer, Top Liquid Fertilizer. Uh, you can change it all the way from 1 to 8 on those. Let me, let me check to see if there's any differences on this one. You can have 16. Wow. Sugar Cane, 16. Liquid fertilizer, you can have all the way up to 16 on that. So, yeah, you can actually get a lot on this one. Hopefully, they do raise the pallet limit very soon. After that, we have a few slurry tanks right here. This is the Samson PG pack from LS Agra Ole. Let's see, we have the PG220, the 25, the 28, the 31, the 35, all the way ranging from 102,000 all the way up to 202,500. Uh, let's see, this thing can hold up to 34,500, which does require 300 horsepower. And the lowest one is 20,500, and it requires 200 horsepower. Let's take a look at actually the biggest one on here. Okay, let's see. Wheel brand, we got Trailborg, Vridestein, Nokian. Uh, you can't change the tire wheel setup on those. You can change the color to any color you would like on those. This actually looks really good. Wow. Uh, rim color, any color on those too. Let me go ahead and make sure these are all the same too. It is also on there too. Then next we have a new disc arrow. This is the Horse Joker 6 CT from Rick Black Label. It is two tons. It does require 140 horsepower, six working meters, nine miles an hour is the operating speed, $28,456. Let's see, cultivator, you got standard. You got cultivator with sprayer, Ooh, nice. And then back to standard on that one. Then next on the list after that one, we have the Lizard Animal Trailer. And this is from Puzzcap. Let's see, 588 kilograms. 
$3,650. We'll set up, we got standard. We got standard two, standard three. I like those standard threes on those. Main color, you have pretty much all your dark colors, it looks like. Uh, let me go to rim color real quick. Same with that, too. Uh, let's see, this does hold, hold two cows, two pigs, and two sheep. Then the big mod we have for today is the John Deere 9RT from Agro Tono. I've been waiting for this thing right here. 517 horsepower is the base power shift. Let's see, 1,324 liters of fuel, 24 miles an hour. Let's see, 21 tons, 370,500. Front weight, you have standard, 0, 200, 700, 1,200, and then back to standard on that. Let's see, warning equipment. You got design 1, which looks more of like, you know, U.S., we got design two, which is looks like EU. Uh, then we got design three, design four, then design five. I'm probably gonna use design one. Uh, window tenting, you got standard. Design one, two, three, all the way up to three. Additional monitor, yes or no on that. Let's put the additional monitor on that. Actually, it's actually completely free if you do all this. Look at that, designs and everything. Attachers, you got yes or you got no. Let's see, engine setup, you got 9470, which is 517, the 9520, which is 572, the 9570 RT, which is 628, the 9570 RT chip tuning, which is 700, which is going to cost you an extra $91,000. Uh, track setup, you got standard tracks, you got width weights, you got width weights 2, width weights 3, wide, wide width weights, wide width weights 2, wide width weights 3, and then back to standard on that. All right, so there we go. Let's take a look at this in game. I've been very excited about this thing right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get in it real quick. Let's see anything happen. Doesn't look like it. Hey, what was that right there? What is that? I have absolutely no clue. All right, but anyways, let me bring that up real quick. Okay, lights. We got one, two, three, three set of lights. We got some beacons on the top there. The very, very small ones, if you can see those. Uh, as you see, the license plate are also right on the very top and one in the back. Okay, I'm going to be quiet and let you guys hear that engine. Okay, so there we go. There's the engine sounds. Here is everything turning over. You see also the key flipping on there. Really nice. Top speed is 24 miles an hour. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. What does this do? Ooh, you can open up that hood. Okay, uh, let's see. You see the fan right there that's nice okay let me go ahead and close that even has the sounds for it too okay nothing right there what does this all do let's see oh you can actually close those okay so there we go with that one what does the r stick do i don't know let me go in here and make sure is it doing anything doesn't look like it i might be mistaken anything up here no, okay, what is what about going down? Does that do anything? No? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what that actually does. Maybe if I had, like, maybe different settings on here, maybe it would change that. All right, but anyways, top speed is 22 miles an hour, and looks like it hits it very... Whoa, okay. It said 22 miles. Let me, uh... Let me see. Change cruise control speed. Oh, that's why. Okay, it says 24. Okay. And actually 25, and you hit it really, really quick. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the John Deere 9RT. Love this thing. After that, we have a new, well, subsoiler. This is the Lizard subsoiler. This is, let's see, 750 kilograms. This is from David Martinez. Uh, it does require 80 horsepower, 2.1 working meters, 7 miles an hour is the operating speed. It is only $7,000. Okay, the next on the list after that one is something I've been waiting to come out. This is the Probox Bulk Seed Container from Legacy AG. Holds 1,584 liters, 674 kilograms. It is $1,500 on that. And you guys can see all of the detail on that. I hope he does make, you know, like fertilizer and stuff like that later on because the detail on this is really nice. Okay, then after that one, we have a new mower for today. This is the SIP Disc 300 from BGamer003. I don't know why it won't let me zoom in more, but anyways. Uh, this is 600 kilograms. It does require 55 horsepower, 3 working meters, 13 miles an hour is the operating speed. It is 8,500 on that. Then next on the list after that one, we have some new augers. This is the Stara Rebook Ninja 19,000 and 33,000 pack. 
So we have the $66,000 one, which is, let's see, holds 33,000 liters. It does require 200 horsepower. And then we have the smaller one, which only holds $19,000, $19,000 liters, $38,000. Was going to cut that out, but you know what? You know, forget about it. Let's see, 110 horsepower on that. Okay, let's actually take a look at this. Wow, okay, bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay, let's see. Wheel brand, we got Trailborg, Michelin, Midas, BKT, Fridistine, Lizard. Trailborg, you got Standard, Standard 2. Uh, let's see, Lizard, you got Standard or Standard 2. Uh, I think it's going to be probably the same for all of these. Main color, you either have green or you have the stainless, which that looks amazing. And then let's see, design color, you either have orange, you got black, and you got green. And then rim color, the same thing on those right there. Love these things. After that, we have a new plow for today. This is the Russell Mash DP, and this is from R. Mahal. Let's see, 1.3 tons, 170 horsepower, 3.5 working meters, 6 miles an hour is operating speed, $15,000. There is no other options on that one. We have one more regular mod to get to, and that is a new truck. This is the 114G and 124G series from Nassif Modding. These look kind of like... Uh, is it just me or do these look like some Scania's right here? These, to me it does. Okay, anyways, these range all the way from 250,000 all the way up to 280,000. Looks like we have the ones with, uh, with the cab over and then the ones with the hood right there. Let me actually take a look at this one real quick. Okay, axle configurations. You got four by two, six by two. Uh, let's see, decorative strips, standard, stripe one, stripe two, stripe three. How many does this go to? So all the way up to five right there. Exhaust, you have exhaust one, which I don't actually see. Oh, it's right down there. We have exhaust two, three, four, and then back to there. Uh, let's see, bumper, you got standard, you got yes. Let me put yes on there. Air suspension, no, or yes. Let's put the air suspension on it. The engine setup, you got the 320, which is 320, 360. Uh, main color, you have any color you want. So, you know what, let's put this as Sam's pink. No, he really likes that pink color. You can change the design color, the grill color, the fender color, the rim color, and there we go. So let's get this one real quick. And then let's get the big cab over one, which you can get this one six by four on that. Decorative strips, exhausts, uh, bumper, air suspension, the 480 on this one. And then of course you can change this to any color. So let's get this as Joe's purple, because he'd probably be very mad if I left him out on this. All right. So we have both of those trucks all the way down there. So it's going to take me a minute to run all the way up here. Okay, so there we go right there. They look really good. Okay, let me get in this one real quick. So here is the interior. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, let me go ahead and see these lights. One, two, three, three sets of lights. Got turn signals. Of course, no beacons on it. Uh, I'm going to turn over that engine so you guys can hear it. Okay, so there we go right there. Here is the interior when you turn it over. Everything does light up, turn signals. Okay, top speed is 74 miles an hour. Looks like it is a manual. Takes a minute to get up to speed. It's not, not, not too bad of a truck. Though the only complaints I probably have it is about this over here. It's, I, I, I don't know, it's, looks, kind of plastic a little bit to me <laughs> but maybe that's just me okay but anyways guys that right there is the 114 and 124 g series okay so the first placeable mod we got for today for all platforms is the metal shed and this is from gracious it is just a metal shed so you can store stuff in it where can you find this one let's go over here let's go under sheds and it is let's see fifteen thousand dollars on that then right next door, we have the half-tempered shelter, and this is from Black Tiger. Uh, here we go right here. Let me actually put this up. Let's see. It looks like there is lights on here. Is there a light switch anywhere? Yep, right there. So this one does actually have a light switch. This is really nice. Okay, where can you find this one? It is right next to it at 63500 after that, we have another new mod from Zotozok. If you guys have not taken a look at Zotozok, it's factory mods, definitely take a look. But anyways, this is the stationary wood chipper. This mod includes a stationary wood chipper. Here, long logs can be unloaded and wood chips can be loaded. Uh, it is $25,000. Cycles per month is $1,200. Cost per cycle is, I think it's $25, I believe. Let me make sure real quick. It is... 
Okay, actually, it's $60 per month for that right there. Uh, capacity can hold up to, let's see, I think it is 1 million liters of wood and 1 million liters of wood chips each on this one. So if we go right over here, see right there, wood, and then you get wood chips out of that. So pretty nice right here, mainly something being stationary. Okay, where can you find this one? Let's go over to productions and it is right there. It is only $25,000. Uh, let, let me see this real quick. So you can actually sell your wood from here too. So that means if we go over to here, let's go to wood chips. Okay, that's the farm shop. Wood, okay, there we go right there. Yeah, so you can actually sell your wood right there. See, this is two, $2,939, so not bad right there. Okay, the next part to that one, something from Omatana. This is the Simple Cow Barn. So, of course, this is, like it says, a simple cow barn. Uh, let's see. You put your feed and stuff right there, and this thing can hold up to 25 cows. Let me actually get maybe, let me get 25 so you guys can see them right there. There they all are. So, put your food right there. Looks like you get your milk right over here. I don't think you get any slurry or anything over here, but yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about slurry. Also... There is this version one, and then if we go under animals, let's go under cows. See, we have the one with auto water, which is the one you're seeing, and then we have one where you actually have to put water in it. And let's see, the one with uh, where you have to put water in it is actually $25,000 cheaper. And then now the last new mod for all platforms for today, and this is the grass drying. This is from the Lord, the same maker of the map that came out today. Anyways, uh, you just go over here. Let's go right here. And you can see you put hay in your, or you could put silage in here. Uh, so what does this do? Makes 1,000, well, 1,000 grass makes 1,000 uh, hay. Or you put 1,000 grass and you can make 1,000 silage on that. Does 48 cycles a month. Cost is 48,000. So if it does 48 cycles per month, that means it can make up to 48,000 liters on that. Let me sure turn this on. Okay, there's no sounds on it. So that's a good thing. Door does not open. Let me... Go ahead and take a look at all of this. Okay, so that looks like where you dump it, and then you can get it out over here. Uh, wait, no, actually dump it right in there, and you can get it out over here. Okay, there's the pipe. Sorry, I wasn't even looking up. I don't know why. Okay, anyways, where can you find this? Let's go into production, go all the way to the very end, and there it is right there. It is $100,000. Okay, guys, so that is all the new mods for all platforms for today. I would probably have to say my favorite one is probably the new John Deere. Let me know what you guys' favorite one is. Let's take a look at those updates, and then, of course, we got those PC-only mods to take a look at. Okay, so welcome to the updates for all platforms. The first one we have is for the farm silo package. What changed on this one? Just an MP fix on this. Then the next update after that one is for the bunker silo. What changed on this one? MP fix on that one, too. Then we have an update for the John Deere 7010. Changed along on this one. Made several adjustments on the main model. Added beacon light configuration. Added number plate configuration. Added exhaust configuration on that one. And then the last update we have for today is for the lightweight. What changed on this one? Fixed issue with gamepad control, preventing light raising and lowering on that. Okay, so that is all the mods for all platforms. Let's take a look at the PC only ones we got. Okay, so the first PC only one we got for today is the Roch Axis, and this is from Ago Seba. Let's see, 900 liters, 500 kilograms, 42 working meters, 12 miles an hour is the operating speed, $25,000. Extension, you got the 900, you got the 1400, like how I did that right there, 1900, 2400, 2900, and then back to 900. Model, you got the 20.1, the 30.1, 50.1, and then back to there. Let's see, this thing can only do fertilizer, can't do lime. Okay, then the next part to that one is the Lizard Bale Trailer, and this is from Tom Sky. I'm actually surprised that this didn't come out to consoles. Let's see, 1.2 tons, 1500 dollars Let's see, main color, you have any color, pretty much, almost any color. Uh, you can change it to your greens or whatever you want. And then this one, rim color, though, you can change it to any color on that. Okay, then after that one is a really interesting mod right here. This is the Screenshot Mode, and this is from Monster Bab, which... Actually, if you guys seen that screenshot I have on, well, actually the thumbnail on here, I actually used it, well, actually used this mod, screenshot mo mode, to take that thumbnail. Uh, let me actually show you guys this. This is pretty cool. Let me uh, make sure I got all the settings right, because some reason with that patch or whatever, I have to reset my settings. Okay, it is right. Okay, so all you got to do is push Alt and J, and then you get this right here. 
see so like you can change your shaders you got one two three four five six seven seven eight different shaders nine nine shaders on this you can change the time of the year which is pretty nice you can change your weather Let's see rain cloudy sun oh, oh actually, i actually want to check something so if it's winter okay it doesn't look like you can put snow down though uh you can change the time of day right there well I like i like that right there and then of course you know put that shader on the one i actually used was shader six i just love this and then of course you can also use it says right there you use your a s w d keys to move over and then if you rotate your mouse you can zoom in your field of view um let's see you can also q and e for you know you're flying so really nice to be able to take screenshots like this uh, this, what this reminds me of is, of course, you know, ATS and ETS is a uh, uh, picture mode. So you can also hold the hold the mouse button down and you can, you know, move your camera like that. So pretty nice. OK, and now we're on to the last two new mods for PC only for today. And the first one is the production revamp. And this is from Braven. Uh, what this is, is actually it's a script. I'm not going to I'm going to read a little bit of this, but not all of it. Uh, what this does, let's see, it replaces the internal production script with an enhanced version. So you're able to possibly to create recipes with multiple input groups, possibility to combine several productions in one production line that previously had to be created as separate ones, ability to add one or more optional booster inputs that increase the output, possibility to disable the booster for individual outputs, add output mode, selling, distributing, spawn, and store in. Uh, let's see, additional display to show shared throughout throughput, capacity and production chains. Productions that are mission targets can no longer run full and productions written without revamp will continue to work. And then there's also another mod that goes good with this. And that is the production revamp product. This is from Ty Sather. So this is a demo package for productions with production revamp. This mod requires FS22A production revamp, which I just showed you. Uh, but what this does, it pretty much changes everything. Changes the biogas plant, changes the greenhouse, feed mixer, silo fermenter, lime factory, fertilizer and seed production. And it also shows what's available right there. But what this does, it makes it so you can actually have more, pretty much more production line. Let me actually see if I can see some screenshots real quick. Uh, yeah, as you see right there, you can make tree samplings out of your greenhouses. How cool is that? Uh, and then also you see that it does require more of a recipe to make stuff. Like, you know, it actually requires, it requires seed, requires fertilizer, water. So that is pretty neat right there. Okay, so that is all the new mods for all platforms for today for PC. Last thing to go over, of course, is that test and list. Well, that was the news, new mods, and testing list for today. Not a bad day for Monday, right? Well, today's schedule, no other videos, but tomorrow night, we'll be back for a live stream. This week is a little messed up with the live streams. We'll be streaming on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Anyways, remember, if you haven't already done it, to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, have an amazing day, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace. And